Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com, and it has been way too long since I have shown you a faith planning process. Let's go. All right, so I feel like it has been a hot second since I have shown you all my faith planner. I have been working in my faith planner um, this year on a daily basis, weekly basis, um, but haven't necessarily been showing it over here on my channel. Currently, I am using a plum paper horizontal layout planner that you're able to customize. Basically, I um, kind of stripped mine down. It made it as blank as possible so that I would have room to do some decorating for my faith planning. And you can see it's working out okay. I still feel like I'm not totally in the groove of how you decorate a faith planner. I use the monthly layout for writing out scripture, and then I take notes here in the weekly layout. So I'm still getting used to it. Um, I got a little bit behind on decorating when I was at Go Wild. Um, this is not a blank week. The way Plum Paper does it is they have like the end of February, they repeat weeks, basically. So this layout is the same as uh, this one. Hold on just a second. Let me pull it open as this one. Do you see how it's like two different ones? It was just, it was kind of funky. The whole thing was, it's uh, laid out a little bit differently. So this is where I am in my faith planner. I am going to be faith planning for the week of March 20th through the 26th. I tend to like to use printables in my faith planning. And this is a set from Brianna Showalter over at Illustrated Faith. Um, experiencing God Make. This is for March 2023, and I'm really excited. I love Brianna Showalter. Look at those. Look at those illustrations. Like, seriously. Love, love, love. So, um, I'm going to get my faith planner all set up for this particular week. There's so many pieces in here. I could totally do um, multiple weeks with this one, and so I always end up saving some extra pieces. But, all that to say, I will link everything that I use, including this awesome set from Brianna. I will link that in the description box below. Otherwise, I'm going to put you guys on fast forward. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to get started by doing a lot of fussy cutting. Yes, I definitely could have uh, used my Cricut to cut out a lot of these pieces. I just ended up deciding to go ahead and fussy cut. Sometimes that fussy cutting time where you hand cut out the images gives you time to reflect um, for me especially, it helps me to slow down. I do a lot in a day, and so this gives me an opportunity to slow down and to just kind of think over some of the words I'm about to put in my faith planner. So we have a note from Brianna Showalter, and it's all about experiencing God through making and also in community, which I thought were just some beautiful thoughts and words and a great way to focus. And I think having these words in my faith planner to reflect on throughout the week will be of a really um, big benefit. I think I will really enjoy it. And I just want to read to you what it says um, in the manifesto section, which is on that little purple card. It says, to offer myself honestly and beautifully, sharing something from within my soul, laced with courage and hope, to share light and beauty and wake up a longing in others to take part in it to quite simply share myself, and in sharing myself, show others a glimpse of the glory of God. I feel like I absolutely want to print out the set again and put those words in my craft studio. That is something I just feel in my soul. I feel like it is a purpose that God put on my heart. Um, and I thought that Brianna wrote it out so beautifully. I actually teared up the first time um, that I read it just because I really felt like it was something that was speaking to my soul. So I'm so thankful to Brianna um, for a contributing her beautiful artwork all of the time to Illustrated Faith. She does such a fabulous job. She is so very talented. Um, and then also contributing her beautiful heart um, and letting us know what is in her heart. And I think it was amazing. I love this set. It's all art supplies, you guys. I'm all about all of the art, all of the crafting and doing it all um, to God's glory is just, it's just beautiful. And so I knew when I saw this set pop up over on Illustrated Faith that I was going to use it 
right away. So what I'm going to do, how I normally um, decorate my faith planner, I, I fill this up with words. I need all of the journaling lines possible. Um, in those green boxes, that's where I write scripture references um, based on whatever reading plan I'm working through at the time. Um, this year, I am not doing a read through the Bible in a year. I'm kind of rotating some different um, Bible studies and devotionals um, just based on topics that um, God is placing on my heart. So it's kind of, um, it changes week to week, but I do always have scripture that everything is rooted in. And so I write um, scripture references in the green boxes. And then on the lines, that is where I take notes during my quiet time first thing in the morning. Therefore, since I want to leave as much of that space open as possible, that really limits me to where I can decorate on this particular faith planner spread. So up at the very top, um, there's like a calendar and a box. I don't usually use those. You definitely could. Um, but I tend to do a lot of decorating up there because I feel like it would be super unbalanced if I only decorated up there. I do try to spread it out, which a lot of times for me um, looks like going down the spine of the page and then generally over on Sunday where you can see I'm working right now, I do some sort of graphic over there to kind of anchor it. And I, I try to just keep things um, in between lines and off to the side so I still have as much writing as possible. I am struggling with this washi tape. This washi tape is not from Illustrated Faith. This is from Amazon and it is not the best quality. It is ripping off in strips. If you have washi tape that is continually ripping off in not even strips and tearing and stuff, it might be old washi. It might just not be a good quality. Um, if you're like me, sometimes you just you just suffer through it no matter what. But I know that there's better quality options out there. Like from Illustrated Faith, the washi tape shop has gorgeous washi tape. Um, I just don't have the basics from them on hand right now, but I definitely need to order some because this washi tape is driving me insane. I really like putting washi tape in multiple sections on the page because I feel like it creates a cohesive feel. You can see that I'm aiming like in between days just so that um, it's not taking up any writing space, but it's also just going to kind of move the pattern and the color around the page so that it's not so, so heavy. Now this is going to still be very heavy as far as everything being at the top left. That's where most of the imagery is going to be. Um, that's okay, it doesn't bug me if your artistic eye is super bothered by that, then you'll probably want to put less up at the top um, and maybe leave this box open for prayer requests or, or different things like that. Um, for me, I just want to see as many beautiful images as possible um, when I open up my faith planner in the morning to take notes. So I go ahead and fill that puppy on up and just do all all the different images. Um, if you've been around my channel very long, you know, I like an abundant look. That's kind of what I call it. I, I fill up pages no matter what I'm talking about, whether it's faith journaling or planning or art journaling. I'm not one that's great with the negative space. So I, I fill the whole thing up. So just going to trim off some of the little excess and then I'm going to kind of cascade down the spine here. And what I always do, what I always say is put your pages right next to each other. They are lined up really well. And then I'm going to take my different um, paper pieces. I'm adding adhesive. You can see I'm kind of working just across the spine. It creates a pretty cool look. It's something I have really gotten attached to. I like what it looks like when you decorate the spine. I think it's often an underutilized section of a planner or a journal. Um, and I think you can create a lot of interest that way without taking up, up a ton of writing space. So I have all of these elements, these paint brushes and pens and uh, colored pencils. Those are just going to kind of cascade around the page. I'm going to add a few more in some other sections because these these are um, tools like pens and uh, the paintbrushes. They're long and skinny, so they're actually going to fit really well between days of the week. So you'll see me kind of do that. And in this case, I'm using the colored pencils to move some color around the page. So I want to do some purple up top because there's purple at the bottom. I'm trying to move some of those warmer colors down low. So the red and the yellow, and then just bringing blue to tie it all together. But you can see it's kind of like someone dumping out their artist bag. That's kind of what I was going for with this, just like everything falling to the ground. It's a messy creator space and I am here for it. 
Now, as I finish putting these on the page, I'd love to hear how your faith planning is going in 2023. I know that a lot of people switched up their faith planners um, because, or because the Happy Planner did not release a big size faith planner. Um, I think they have since released a big size faith planner that will come out um, in their spring release and it will start in July of 2023. Um, but a lot of people were trying new things. I have been trying this horizontal one. I like it for how I'm able to write in it. It makes sense to me to write in this more like paragraph looking form. I am still struggling at times with decorating it. It's not the easiest thing for me to decorate. I think it's just because it's something Something new. Um, it's just something I'm still kind of leaning into. I wish I could design something a little bit different so I didn't have so much space at the top. I could do something else and maybe have a little bit more evened out space around for decorating purposes. I don't know. It's working for me. Um, I still faith planning is something that I do on a daily basis. Every day my day starts out in my faith planner. And so that's a planner that I spend a lot of time thinking about, a lot of time um, focused on. And this one is working, but I'm not sure it's going to end up being the best solution for me long term. Again, here are the beautiful words written by Brianna that I wanted to have not only in my faith planner, but I'm definitely going to add these um, maybe into my daily planner, maybe into my work planner. That would be a good thing for me to see every day when I open up and try to focus on work, um, remembering what my purpose is in that work. But I'm making a little insert for my faith planner right now. So there were these two pages that kind of looked like a composition notebook ta-da, right there. And I'm going to add some scrapbook paper on the inside just to give it a little bit more strength and to cover up the white paper. So let's trim that out. And then I'm going to put um, Brianna's words here on the inside and create kind of a little tip in for my faith journal. So when I say tip in, we use that in a lot of different journaling. Um, that's when you have an extra piece of paper that you can kind of um, fold in and fold out of your journal. It's almost like an interactive piece. Um, and you can do it in any type of planning or any type of journaling. In the disc bound system, a tip in, um, you can just punch holes in something and pop it into your planner, in this case, my faith planner. Um, and that creates a tip in that I can easily get in and out as I would like to read it and as I'd like to work with it. So once I get all of my words here, or Brianna's words, into this, then I'm just going to cut a piece of scrapbook paper right there um, and punch that with my uh, happy planner punch. So there's a special punch that you can use for disc bound planners. Um, I would recommend the happy planner punch, or I really recommend the, we are memory keepers disc punch. It is only a single hole punch, but it works really, really well and punches through all kinds of things. So I will punch an extra piece of paper and then I will just adhere that paper to this little booklet thing that I have made, um, with Brianna's words. See how it looks like a little composition notebook. I thought it was super cute. So you can see just a random strip of paper, gonna take it over, gonna punch it, then put it onto this paper and I'll be able to um, just pop it into my faith planner and be able to pull it out when I want to read it. And I could even transfer it into my regular planner maybe after this week of faith planning. All right, and once that is done, that is going to be it for this faith plan with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's been a while since I have shown my faith planner over here, um, but I'm still in it, still enjoying it. And I'd love to hear how your faith planning is going as well. I will link all of the supplies that I use down in the description box below, including the new faith planner from the Happy Planner. Again, it's, um, it's on sale now, but it is a July start. So if you're wanting to maybe investigate some um, um, faith planning, that might be a good place to start. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you all so much for all of your support. We have a fabulous time over there. If you want to come check out all of our craziness over on Patreon, there is a link to that in the description box as well. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always keep it creative.